Welcome to Weld.com. A while back we did a video on <clears throat> DC welding with helium on aluminum. And the reason we did that is because we had a fair amount of viewers that would write us or make comments directly out on, out on the media that would say, well, cool little machine, but it only does DC, doesn't have AC capabilities for aluminum and no high freak and all that. Hey, look at the, look at the, you know, we did it because look at the price point of all the stuff that you can do with this little machine. You know, granted, it doesn't have alternating current and high freak. And we said, okay, don't need it. So we came in and we did a video on a quarter inch aluminum fillet with DC helium. And I think there was more comment yet because, you know, we, we cranked this baby in there on some quarter inch saying it was hot and fast. I believe we did a cut and etch. We did. Because so this is the original piece from the video because I remember the pencil mark we put around the grain. Okay, now I'm going to do something half that thickness and on an outside corner joint. So think about that for a second. A lot of power to get in here in a fillet weld and make it perform correctly. Now I'm outside. This is heat sensitive just in the nature of its joint configuration, but it is half the thickness. Okay, so I'm doing everything to get, to get you know, heat sensitive here. And I want to show you maybe an outside corner joint with this helium. I'm going to go across here. I want to use a 332 4043 uh, filler wire, 332 tungsten helium, about 45 cubic feet per hour. I'm running off an Everlast 250 EX on the DC side. I am going to do the high freak, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to do the high freak start. I've set it 115 amps, but I'm not going to use it all. I, I want that initial blast to initiate the arc and get the pool going, and then after that, I'm, I'm going to be backing off. I will progressively back off as this heat transfers through here and I get down toward the end. And let me get dressed. I'll be right back. Well, I would say dab, 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 but I'm going so fast. Well, I said I was going to hit this hard at the beginning, and I think I hit it too hard. Got some really good stuff right down through the middle here. I did back off the heat, restart. Again, we're eighth inch, half the thickness of that fillet, plus we're on the outside here in a, in a outside corner joint. Uh, first time for me, you know, if I did this, three or four times I'd probably figure out the, the timing and the tricks and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know that just laying the wire in that, I don't think that's cool. I really think you got to kind of keep it in there and push and dab to get this profile built the way you like. It may be possible to do a, a pulse. You know, there's some options on here, but again, the whole thing is, you know, somebody commented, well, yeah, you can do you can do thick aluminum, how come you can't do thin? Well, you can, 
you know, you just got to watch your amperage get off of it a little bit. Again, this is kind of hard to see. It's a, it's a sluggish pool and got some soot around it. So it makes it difficult to see. It's not like the argon welds where it's, it's nice and bright and shiny. It's, just, it's a strange looking arc, okay? So, you know, this was a, a, an experiment for me. I hope this helped. I learned a little bit for sure. Again, if I did this numerous times, I'd probably get way better at it. You can turn this over and do the fillet part of it. But again, thin aluminum is possible with DC helium. You just gotta watch your heat. It's real easy to blow it up. You know, I started way too hot over here. So I kind of recognized what was going on. Actually, I gotta be honest, I don't think I really saw that. I was looking ahead and I dabbed that up too much and got too much of a buildup. If we were gonna finish this on a project or something, buff it off, sand it or something, make it look pretty. So I hope this helps and I hope this answered the uh, question or the response to the viewer that commented about thinner aluminum on DC helium. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Please subscribe to the videos. Thank you.